J. Mark G. Williams, Mindfulness, An 8-Week Plan for Finding Peace in a Frantic World. Embark on a journey to find inner peace and calmness in the midst of a hectic world with the book summary of Mindfulness, An 8-Week Plan for Finding Peace in a Frantic World by J. Mark G. Williams. This summary will debunk common myths and misconceptions surrounding the concept of mindfulness and provide valuable insights, backed by science into the physical and mental benefits of adopting mindful practices in daily life. Explore various mindfulness techniques and exercises, including meditation and body scans, from an eight-week mindfulness course designed to cultivate present moment awareness, alleviate stress, and improve overall well-being. The Truth About Mindfulness Mindfulness is not a religion, nor does it require sitting cross-legged on the floor for long periods of time. It's a mental training technique that can be practiced anywhere, at any time. Mindfulness is about observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment or action, allowing negativity to pass and staying present in the moment. The Science of Mindfulness Mindfulness is often misunderstood as New Age spirituality. However, research has demonstrated its effectiveness in promoting physical and mental well-being. This summary explores how mindfulness boosts the immune system, alleviates chronic pain, reduces the likelihood of depression relapse, and lessens everyday stress. Additionally, practicing mindfulness can improve memory, reaction times, physical endurance, and expand the part of the brain responsible for empathy. It is a powerful tool that not only enhances our relationship with others but also with ourselves, resulting in an overall improvement in well-being. Balancing doing and being. Understanding the different modes of the mind can help individuals live a fulfilling life. The doing mode is analytical and exhausting, while the being mode is present and relies on conscious choices. Both modes are crucial, but the key is to know when to use them. Being mindful will prevent the negativity associated with overthinking and allow for greater enjoyment of simple pleasures. Have you ever returned from a vacation and realized you barely remember it? That's because your mind is constantly preoccupied with work and personal responsibilities. This is an example of the doing mode, a crucial aspect of mental life that allows individuals to plan and achieve goals. However, it can also become exhausting and lead to missing out on life's simple pleasures. On the other hand, the being mode is entirely different. It is a state of mindfulness where individuals are present in the moment and rely on conscious choices. This mode allows for greater enjoyment of simple pleasures and the ability to experience feelings more intensely. Both modes are important, and understanding the different roles they play can help individuals live a fulfilling life. The doing mode can involve a lot of negativity, creating a quagmire that is difficult to escape. Negative thoughts can trigger memories of other times of misery, resulting in a cycle of negative thinking. In contrast, the being mode allows individuals to experience feelings more intensely and dissipate negative thoughts. Mindfulness is about taking a break from the doing mode and simply being. By doing so, Individuals can break the negative cycle associated with overthinking. Mindfulness Course for Stress Relief This book summary is about the benefits of taking an 8-week mindfulness course to reduce stress and become more present in your daily life. By starting with the mindfulness of the body and breath exercise, you learn to be more aware and grounded in the present moment. In the second week of the course, you focus on unblocking the communication channels between your body and mind through the body scan meditation, allowing you to better understand and respond to your physical and emotional needs. The exercises are simple, take only a few minutes to complete each day, and can lead to significant improvements in overall well-being. Mastering Mindfulness Learn how to activate your approach system, shift your perspective, and develop better cognitive control through mindful movement and sounds and thoughts meditation in weeks 3 and 4 of this book. Do you often find yourself worrying about things beyond your control? In week 3 of this book, you'll learn how to activate your approach system, which shifts your perspective from avoidance to curiosity and compassion. By engaging in the mindful movement exercise, 
you learn to accept things as they are and pay attention to your physical sensations. Doing this exercise once a day, along with a 3-minute breathing space meditation twice a day, develops better cognitive control and prepares you for week 4. In week 4, you'll do the sounds and thoughts meditation, which helps you take a step back from your thoughts and observe them like sounds that come and go. Paying attention to the flow of your thoughts not only helps you develop better cognitive control but also learn about how your mind works. By the end of the week, you'll be more attuned to the nature of your own thoughts and have a better understanding of your cognitive processes. Mindfulness, a practice of acceptance and compassion. This book summary explores mindfulness as a means of accepting difficult emotions and dealing with past negative experiences. The fifth week of the course delves into exploring difficulties through meditation. The technique involves turning thoughts towards a difficult or unpleasant topic, locating the sensation in the body, and accepting and opening up to the feeling. The subsequent week tackles over general memory, characterized by purely negative memory recall. The practice includes meditation exercises for positive affirmation and sending wishes of happiness to others, leading to healing and letting go of the past. Nourishing your soul and mind. Are you constantly sacrificing your small moments of joy due to your busy schedule? Week 7 of this course is aimed at helping you distinguish between activities that nourish both your body and soul and those that sap your energy. You will make a list of these activities and strike a better balance between them to increase your creativity, energy, and insight. The final week focuses on customizing everything you have learned to your own needs and schedule. By answering some questions, you will weave your mindfulness parachute, a patchwork of practices that address your particular needs, thus achieving consistency in your meditation practice. Writing down the reasons why you practice mindfulness and seeing them every day can keep you motivated to continue enjoying the benefits of meditation and staying grounded in the present moment. As the journey of the 8-week mindfulness plan comes to an end, you will have learned to harness the power of mindful practices to lead a more balanced and peaceful life. The concepts and techniques presented in the book summary guide you towards developing present moment awareness, reducing stress, and cultivating mental resilience. With continued practice, you can break free from the vicious cycle of negative thoughts and emotions, and be better equipped to embrace the serenity in everyday life. The knowledge you've gained from this summary is a powerful tool to help navigate the complexities of modern life, maintaining a strong, compassionate, and grounded mindset.